And happy Tuesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's now time for your tropical weather update for this Tuesday, and we do still have quite a bit going on in the tropics. So I want to update you on what's happening out there. So let's get right to it. We have a new tropical storm in the central Atlantic, and this is tropical storm Lee. We also have a strong tropical wave developing in the eastern Atlantic. It rolled right off of that west coast of Africa, and it is already looking fairly impressive. So that will likely be the next name storm as we go into the weekend or potentially early next week. So we do have these two systems that we are more concerned about because they are developing farther south into the Atlantic, and that means they have a better chance to potentially impact a portion of the Lesser Antilles, possibly Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and maybe make it all the way to the east coast of the U.S. At this point, the good news for us here in southeast Texas is the fact that these storms are not expected to push into the Caribbean, at least at this point, and they're likely not going to make it into the Gulf of Mexico. But if that track were to shift farther south, then that would be a different story. So we'll be monitoring it closely, but right now it looks like Tropical Storm Lee, newly formed Tropical Storm Lee, will remain in the Atlantic, likely getting close to Puerto Rico and close to the Lesser Antilles as we get into the weekend. So here is the latest with Tropical Storm Lee. It did become a tropical storm as of the 4 p.m. advisory. Before that, it was Tropical Depression number 13, and before that, it was Invest 95L. So it is rapidly developing. Currently, maximum sustained winds around 45 miles per hour. Movement to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour and pressure at 1,005 millibars. So this system is expected to really start to intensify quickly. It means business. It's not going to wait around to strengthen. In fact, by this evening and tonight, we are expecting it to continue to strengthen. And even into tomorrow, it will be getting closer to Category 1 hurricane status. Still a very strong tropical storm around 1 p.m. Wednesday with 70 mile per hour winds. The forecast then calls for Lee to become a hurricane, likely a category one hurricane by Thursday afternoon with 90 mile per hour winds. So you can see that rapid strengthening as it moves over the very warm waters that we have out there in the Atlantic. More concerning as we get into Friday and Saturday, Tropical Storm Lee is expected to be a hurricane, of course, but it should turn to a major hurricane, a Category 3 hurricane, by Friday afternoon. And forecasts are even calling it to become even stronger, likely a Category 4 hurricane as it gets closer to the Lesser Antilles and closer to the Puerto Rico area by Saturday. So 1 p.m. Saturday, 140. 40 mile per hour winds. Of course, category five is as bad as it gets on the Saffir Simpson scale. No forecast for category five just yet, but a four is a very powerful and very dangerous hurricane. That's why we are going to have to monitor what happens with Tropical Storm Lee very closely because it could have some major impacts to portions of the Caribbean islands. And eventually, if it holds together, it could continue that track off to the west northwest and make it to the east coast of the U.S. So this is one that we are monitoring very closely. I want to switch gears and show you the computer model forecast for Tropical Storm Lee. And it's going to be very similar to the official national hurricane forecast. That movement expect it to still remain to the west northwest. Now I want to move over to some of the Caribbean islands. You can see Puerto Rico there, Dominican Republic. Most of the models keep Tropical Storm Lee and eventually Hurricane Lee to the north of the Dominican Republic, Haiti and Puerto Rico. But notice a couple of these computer models take it farther south closer to Puerto Rico and closer to the Dominican Republic. So if it did take that more southerly track, then there is a shot that it could push into the Gulf of Mexico. But notice several other models keep it to the north of the San Juan, Puerto Rico area, north of the Dominican Republic. So I do think it will remain in the southwestern Atlantic and maybe get closer to the Bahamas and the east coast of the U.S. instead of the Gulf. But of course, we'll have to watch it closely and we will keep you updated as that forecast shifts a little bit. Tropical Storm Lee is not the only thing that we have out there. Of course, we do have Lee in the central Atlantic, but off to the east of Tropical Storm Lee, we have another concerning tropical wave because it is a very impressive and strong looking tropical wave here right off of the west coast of Africa with a 30% 
shot for development over the next 48 hours, but a high 70% chance for development over the next seven days. And it is pushing off to the northwest. So this will likely become our next name storm as we go into the next couple of days. Also, we're still monitoring post-tropical Franklin way up in the northeastern Atlantic. Not much of a chance for this to turn back into a tropical cyclone. Just a 20% chance over the next seven days. It's in some cooler waters up there, but the Hurricane Center did just want to mention that there is a very slim shot that that could once again regenerate back into a brief tropical depression or tropical storm. But the chances of that, very small. Let's check out what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, things are quiet, so nothing that would be threatening us anytime soon. But of course, we'll be watching to see what happens with Tropical Storm Lee, which will become Hurricane Lee, likely in the next 24 to 48 hours. Down into the Caribbean, things are fairly quiet. Just a few clusters of showers and storms, but nothing that is being monitored to potentially turn into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. So I do want to talk about what's happening with our sea surface temps, our water temperatures in the Gulf, in the Atlantic, in the Caribbean. They are still extremely warm. In fact, notice some of these temps in the Gulf of Mexico, very close to 90 degrees. It's the same story in the Caribbean, same story in the Atlantic, and that is one of the reasons why we're expecting Lee, which is a tropical storm, to strengthen into a hurricane so quickly. Those warm waters, of course, acting as that fuel for these tropical cyclones to rapidly develop, intensify, and become very dangerous. So we've already gone through several names for the 2023 tropical season or hurricane season for this year. Of course, we added Lee to that list as of a few minutes ago. The next name on the list would be Margo and then Nigel. So of course that strong tropical wave that just came off of the west coast of Africa could become Margo over the next couple of days. So we'll be monitoring things closely, but we certainly have a lot to worry about because we've still got to get through the peak of hurricane season, which is September 10th, and then the remainder of September and even into the first half of October. For that reason, we've still got the potential for an above average season. Of course, the Colorado State University forecasters still calling for that above normal season. As of early August, 18 named storms, nine hurricanes, four major, major hurricanes, which puts us above the average of what we normally get during a regular hurricane season. So overall, it has already been fairly active. We could see still several more named storms head our way or head into the Atlantic or the Caribbean. So of course, we're gonna be monitoring things closely and keeping track of what is happening out there. Of course, you will be the first to know if we do have anything that develops and tries to head into the Gulf. But there is that peak of hurricane season right around September 10th. So we've still got a ways to go. Hurricane season lasting all the way through November 30th. So of course, we'll be here to keep you updated and walk you through it day by day with our tropical weather updates. Also, if you haven't already downloaded it, make sure to head to the App Store and grab our Fox 26 weather app. Get your latest tropical weather forecast cones follow me feature and of course any hurricane alerts watches warnings advisories you can find those there as well once again i'm fox 26 meteorologist ramisha shea this is your tropical update for your tuesday have a safe rest of your day